Check, 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 check. What's Poppington, Dub Nation? It's your boy, Alan Wade. Thank you. Back with another one. Again and again and again. Non-stop. Guys, all right. So, embroidery machine stuff. All right. So, I've been messing around with this brother's embroidery machine off and on for the last two weeks, two and a half weeks or so. And I'm going to show you what I found. I found that um, in a lot of videos, people use this stuff right here. It's called tear away stabilizer or adhesive stabilizer. And I've seen people get some pretty good results with it. I haven't get, gotten pretty good results with it yet. I haven't totally given up on it, but as of right now, I can't recommend that you guys buy it um, and use it if you're, if you're gonna do this embroidery thing. What I can recommend is that you guys, out of experience, is that you guys buy some linen from your fabric shop um, the results that you get using an actual fabric versus, I guess this is considered fabric also, or paper, I don't know, but it's, it's fabric-like. But the results that you get when you use linen as your backing or your stabilizer versus this tearaway stabilizer stuff is night and day. So, um... That's what I found. Um, using this is a lot better. I'm going to um, go over and test it and show you guys in a moment. A lot of the stuff that I'm going to be making, um, I'm going to show you guys some of it, but I'm not going to show you guys all of it. Just um, if you want to see more of it, just go over to my Instagram, King Alan Alexander on Instagram and follow me on Instagram and you'll see me wearing some of the stuff some of it still um, more of it that I'm gonna sh more of it will be on Instagram that I'm gonna show you on YouTube the stuff that I'm gonna show you on YouTube is gonna be stuff that like I don't mind if you guys produce yourself and stuff like that but the exclusive stuff I'm gonna save for my merchandise store I'm doing all this research in order to give you guys a better quality product guys because I feel that this channel needs merchandise in a merch store and I'm gonna really deliver some some top-notch next level non boring designs for you guys when it comes to shirts jackets fashion pants and things of that nature so um, just stay tuned for that guys but um let's go over to the embroidery machine and see and let me show you guys what I've been able to do and um, I basically I really want to show you guys the difference between using the tearaway stabilizer versus using the um, linen so let's go over and check it out a dub production <laughs> All right, guys, so we're over here. Got the embroidery machine, the Brothers SE600 right next to us. And I got two embroidery hoops. Um, this um, Brothers machine comes with this one four x four embroidery hoop. We're not gonna use this on this test. We're gonna use a smaller hoop, which I ordered on Amazon. All these links will be, all these product links will be in the um, description down below if you guys wanna order any of this stuff. But I'm not gonna go through how to set up this machine in this video. I'll do it in another video. So make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for that. So right now, um, I want to do several different tests with you guys. The machine is um, all threaded up and ready to go. I'm going to show you guys how to hoop it. And we're going to do several different tests. The first test we're going to do is using this tearaway stabilizer. We're going to put some tearaway stabilizer in the hoop like so. Then we're going to put the material on and then we're gonna put hoop it. All right, so let me show you how that's done. A Dub Productions. All right guys, so um, this is my hoop. I cut my tearaway stabilizer so I don't have to use a whole sheet just for one thing, so I'm just gonna set this to the side. So this is how you hoop it. You go like this, and I'm just doing it. It's kind of difficult to show you guys because I'm trying to do it, have it on camera at the same time. You put the material over top, like that, and you press down in the hoop, then you actually, wait a minute, sorry, got you guys, get a little bit more material here, and you press down in the hoop, and you want to put this hoop, see how it like went inside of that portion right there, see that, alright, so what I do 
is while this is down, you can actually pull on the fabric to get some tension, just in case you have any fabric bunched up in here. And now that you got it in, you just tighten this up like this. Tighten this up. And once it's tight, you're ready to go. Let's put it in the machine. Again, I'm going to do a more detailed video on the functionality of this machine right now, but I just want to show you guys the difference between using the tearaway stabilizer versus the linen fabric. So I'm not going to go into the intricacies yet, but like I said, stay tuned for that. Found a real easy way to put this in. Um, the machine, I'll, I'll, I'll make a video on that later, like I said, but um, just push this in like so. Hoop it. Make sure all the fabric is out of the way. And after you've gotten everything together like so, you want to go ahead and press and edit. And I already have my design ready. Press embroider, bring down the presser foot, and just hit this machine, this button right here. And it starts to embroider. So now that it's done, um, I just press OK on the screen. Uh, I press the cutting scissors so it'll cut it. And then I raise the presser foot and then release it like so. Take it out. And this is the tearaway stabilizer, guys. This is the back of it right here. You guys can see. Uh, let me get a little better shot on that. All right, so this is the tearaway stabilizer right here material. Let me unhoop it. Um, and they call it tearaway stabilizer because you tear it away. All right, so obviously you cut all those loose strings off. But this is what you get, guys. Um, this is okay. This is actually one of my better ones that I've gotten with the tearaway stabilizer. But obviously you cut off the strings and this is okay, but let's do one using the linen and see the difference in the quality. Alright. Alright, so this is our tearaway linen. I mean our tearaway stabilizer stuff. So we're gonna do it just like we did before. I don't think I had this facing the right the same way, but it's okay. Put the linen on there. Put the fabric on. Hoop it. Hoop that perfectly. Tighten it up. And we're ready to go. Let's load it up in the machine. Again, you just put it in. And I'm making this look simple, guys, because I've done this a few times already. But um, it's a little learning curve um, on this machine. And I'm going to make videos to show you guys exactly what those curves are in the upcoming videos so make sure you subscribe and stay tuned always keep you guys up to date with what's going on all right so we got the linen fabric all loaded up and so once again all we gotta do is put our press foot down and then that turn green just push the button now and we're gonna see if we can notice the difference between using the linen as stabilizer or using the tearaway stabilizer. All right, so once again, we're done. So I cut, there's no specific order you gotta do this. And then I press okay, raise the foot and unhoop it. Lay it down flat and slides right out. All right, so now we have both of our 
materials used, right? So obviously this being linen, you can't just tear it away because it's linen. So you have to, sorry. So you have to cut it away. All right, so that's the difference. One you gotta cut away and one is tear away, right? So um, this was the tear away. This is the back of the tear away. I guess I shouldn't have tore it away. But already you can tell the difference. The back of the linen looks better than this. But if you turn around and you compare the two, which one do you guys think looks better? The linen, in my opinion, looks better. Let me clean it up a little bit and um, I'll show it to you again. And we'll get a close up and really compare the two. All right, guys. So this is our two designs right here. Uh, tell me right now. Give me a second. I'll give you a second and you tell me which is which. Okay, well, okay. Yeah, tell me which is which. Okay, so now that you've guessed, I'm going to tell you which is which. All right, so um, this one is our tearaway stabilizer, and this one is using the linen, which is still on there because I didn't cut it off yet. Stabilizer's gone, but just on camera, you can see that this is like way better quality. Like the stitching came out better. I don't know if it's because, if it's, because it's a material that's... um on the back and it's the material the shirt is staying still more but you can clearly see the difference it's like night and day um let me zoom in see if i can get you guys a better shot so once again this is this tearaway stabilizer and this is the using the linen all right let me get you some more iso in here this is the linen, and this is using the tearaway stabilizer. Linen. Tearaway stabilizer. So that was just a real quick video to show you guys what I've been up to and show you guys where I'm at as far as this embroidery machine is concerned. Um, we got some more HTV videos coming up and some more, I'm going to do a how to thread the machine and the functionality of the machine video soon. So make sure you subscribe as well as don't forget about the screen printing videos. Those are coming up, but, um, I really, to be honest with you, haven't made any progress with that, but I have everything set up downstairs. And, um, I think what I'm going to do instead of making my old screens, like I was originally going to do is buy some screens because I think the the stretching of the screen is, is going to be an issue um with the uh anyway leave that alone but anyway um i hope you guys enjoyed this video like comment subscribe let me know if you guys guys have any tips and tricks let me know if i'm not stretching it tight enough or something like that maybe that's the reason why the stabilizer wasn't stabilizing enough because i've seen some videos and most people recommend using the tearaway stabilizer or the adhesive stabilizer but I just haven't been able to get any good results with it. So um, let me let me know what you guys think. Maybe it's my material. Maybe it's too um, soft and stretchy and delicate or whatever. I'm not sure. Um, but it seems like the tougher material, um, you get a better embroider. Like maybe if it was denim, I would probably get a, a better embroider. I don't know. But I wanted to do a test where I just embroider on the linen. Maybe linen on top of linen and then do a stabilizer on top of stabilizer, which wouldn't make any sense because you wouldn't use. Anyway guys, stay tuned, like, comment, subscribe, and keep your post notifications on. It's your boy, Alan Wade, King Alan Alexander on all social medias. Alan Wade in real life. Peace, and I'm out.